Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about orbital velocity. First of all, we need to understand that what is orbital and what is velocity. Orbital is the meaning of orbit or circular path and velocity is a velocity has a unit of meter per second. The orbital velocity, the concept of this velocity comes from the sun. Every star like earth is moving in the, around the earth in a nearly circular path but not a perfect circular path, nearly circular path. In order to understand this concept, we will apply this concept to the orbital velocity of uh, some satellites. So, uh, for example, we will consider that some satellites rotates around the Earth in a nearly circular path, but not a perfect circular path in with the considering concept of Sun and Earth and other stars because they are rotating around the Earth, around the Sun in a circular path, nearly circular path. So, <coughs> in order to consider this, uh, we will consider that a satellite is moving uh, or rotating around the Earth in a circular path having radius R from the center of the Earth and mass ms is the mass of satellite, capital M is the mass of Earth having radius R. We need to consider the velocity this is a tangent tangential velocity and we need to calculate the tangential velocity around the earth, uh, around the earth and this velocity will be known as orbital velocity in order to understand this concept we first of all we will need to understand that how this uh, satellite is fo uh, is forced to move in a circular path uh, some centripetal force will act on that <coughs> So on that satellite to move or force it to in move in a circular path or remain in the orbit. So, so the formula for centripetal force is equal to Fc is equal to m v square over r, and the formula for gravitational force is equal to Fg is equal to g a gravitational constant m m over r square. This small m is known as mass of satellite and this capital M is denoted by mass of earth. So these two satellites, these two forces are balanced to keep the satellite in the orbit. So these two forces are equal. If we make these two forces equal, the final answer will be m v square over r. This is centripetal force and this is gravitational force is equal to g m s m capital over r square so we need to simplify these terms and and calculate the orbital velocity the final term will be orbital velocity so if we cancel this m by small m then only v square over r is equal to g m over r square you can say that uh, this r can be cancelled out by this r only v square is equal to g m over r so our purpose is to calculate the velocity not a vac velocity square so we will take square root on both sides taking square root on both sides the answer will be v square square root is equal to g m over r square root so this square will be cancelled out by square root only velocity will be remaining velocity is equal to g m over r square root this is the final answer this is known as orbital velocity it means that from this formula we can say that this orbital velocity does not depend upon mass of satellite in this formula you can see that velocity is equal to g m over r square root it means that velocity only dependent upon mass of the earth velocity dependent upon the radius radius of the circle for example this is the earth this is center of the earth and some object is rotating around the center of the earth so we have given that from the surface to the satellite this for example the distance is 27 kilometer for example distance 27 kilometer we need to calculate the total distance from the center of the earth the, this center of this radius of the earth will be considered this is 6400 kilometer 
general this is general term and it cannot be ignored so this r capital r radius of the earth or 6400 km plus 27 km will be the total distance from the center of the earth to the satellite please keep in mind that this concept may confuse you and on in the books you cannot read this all the information can be given by this lecture because this information is missed in the books and you can add this R while solving your problem or numericals or solving the uh, M multiple choice questions you can include this R. Up till now we have finished about the orbital velocity and we also discussed about centripetal force and gravitational force they act on that object and make that object or force it to move in the circular path because these forces are balanced at some point. In order, in other words, we also included the radius R, capital R of the Earth, because the from the center to the surface of the Earth there is a term capital R which is 6400 kilometer, and that can be included in the question or numericals. Up till now we have finished the orbital velocity. If you like our video, you can subscribe our channel, and if you are confused. You can contact us for more details, we will give you updates and we will see you soon. Bye bye.